Hey guys, it's Kelly. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this color glitch effect. I think it's technically called chromatic aberration, but either way, I've been seeing it everywhere on Instagram and a lot of graphics. It's pretty trendy right now. I know you can do it in like disposable camera apps and there's like glitch apps on your iPhone, but I wanted to figure out how to do it in Photoshop. So if you wanted to have a little more control over the colors and the layers, you could do that and it's actually really easy. So let's jump into it. And this is kind of the finished effect. So you start out with your layer that you wanna use. I'm gonna show you on type first and then show you how to do it on a photo in a second, but you just do your normal typography like you would do and then duplicate the layer. So click on the layer you wanna duplicate and you can do Command J as a shortcut. And then click on this effects to add a layer style and click on blending options. So where you see these channels, you'll want to uncheck green and blue and just leave red checked for this first layer. Then you select this and duplicate this layer again, command J. And the same thing, go to FX blending options. And this time uncheck red and check off green and blue. Now, right now it doesn't really look like anything, but if you start moving around these layers, you'll see that effect start to happen. And the further you move it away from the original layer, the more intense the effect will be. And then if you just move it a little bit away, it's a more subtle effect. You can also change the opacity of the layers if you want it not quite so dark. And then you can even hide the original layer if you just want the overlap parts to be dark. So you'll just kind of have to experiment with it and move these layers around until you get exactly what you're going for. Now on a photo, it's really similar. You click on the layer, Command J to duplicate, go to effects, go to blending options, and then just have red checked. Now on the photo, you don't even need to really have the other layer um, with the green and blue checked. You can just start playing around with this. And same as before, if you move it a little bit, it'll just do a subtle effect if you move it even more, the effect gets a little more intense. And the other cool thing with the photo is you can actually warp this top layer so that the effect is more intense in certain places and then doesn't show up in others. And if you go back to the blending options, you can experiment with the actual channels that are showing. So if you click green, this effect is green and purple. And then if you click blue, it's blue and yellow. I think red is the kind of more traditional red cyan look. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you. If you want more Photoshop tutorials and tips, Subscribe to the channel. I make new videos every week. And if there's something specific you want to learn, let me know because it might be my next video. I'll see you next time.